Nevada Nail Person, and today I have, and please forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, I, I stand corrected, this is a an indie collection by Elegy Polish, and it's called the Dia de los Muertos Collection, Day of the Dead Collection, and one thing I can share is I have this obsession for sugar skulls, I don't know why, I do, I appreciate that artwork. Um, it just catches my eye every time. It's so colorful, and I really want to look into more what it's about. Um, I don't know too much about it, but it certainly sparked my interest. And um, So that being said, I'll just jump right in. And um, I have my magic nail wheel here for swatches, and I will also do some close-ups so you can see it as well, because there's three glitter polishes, and it has a lot of detail, so you're going to need up close. So, um, of course, I will butcher these names as well, so I will flash them across the screen. This one is called um, Calaveras de Escurar. I don't know. That. It's polished right here. Let me try to get up close. And it is just the sprinkling of everything, which includes, if you can see it right there, skull and crossbone, a pink one. How cute is that? Just a wonderful glitter polish, all kinds of colors. So that certainly, I could understand being part of the Day of the Dead collection, um, Sugar Skulls, because that is so colorful, beautiful. So there she is. That's that one. This next one, and there is the theme. They do have the uh, skull and crossbones. This one is called Ofrenda, I believe. And there's the polish. And you can see it's um, um, large and small, black, probably looks like matte glitters, and the skull and crossbones, the white ones. I see little flowers in there as well. You can see, I don't know if you see it right there, a little flower. So it's hard for me to capture the true beauty of these nail polishes right now. Hopefully in the future if I get some kind of setup you'll see it better. So there it is. I'll try to get it up close. This one right there. This next one is called La Calavera Katrina and it is and here it is on the nail wheel it's again um, the skull and crossbones, black, at, black, white, and red themed, um, black and red particles, um, and some white, the white skull and crossbones, and there's the, the glitters, it looks like most some matte, there's all kinds of stuff in there, but I like the black, white, and red combination, it's beautiful. So there she is again. This next one is a, let's look look at the name, it's Danza de los Muertos. And it is a, a black, uh, here it is on the nail wheel, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's a good idea with this daylight, I'm not getting good light. Um, it is a black, let's describe this better. It's like a black shimmer, but I can see like there's like small holographic pieces in it. I don't know if you can see that. It is gorgeous. And let's see. And that there it is again. Let's see if we can capture some. See some of that holographic right there? Beautiful. Next one is Midnight at the Oasis. Okay, I, that I could pronounce. Midnight at the Oasis. <laughs> Barely. Um, and it is um, similar to this previous color, but this is more like a deep, deep purple color. But it has that those holographic shimmer pieces in there as well. Let's see if I can get it. See, there it is. Can we get it? Can we get it? I'll have to just provide a close-up and you'll see it then. And then this final polish is interesting. This is called, 
I don't even know how to say it. Campuchel. And it's an interesting, like a nude, uh, orangey, like a creamsicle color. And it has, um, it's got a, like a slight shimmer base, but it's it's an interesting color, but it certainly would go well under the, um, all of these um, glitter polishes. So that's it. And one more thing I want to mention is with this collection, it came this with this bracelet, and that's what caught my eye, and it's the little skulls. So yes, I love that. So that's it, guys. Um, beautiful polish. I'll provide the link below so you can take a look at and see what else Elegy has. The formulation was great. Um, nothing bad to say at all. It's just a fun collection. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks, guys. Bye.